This is Boxing Talk A five seven six. Um, I want to talk about the fight that's going on tomorrow, the middleweight uh, uh, championship fight that's going on between David Lemieux and uh, Triple G Gennady Golovkin. Uh, this fight will be an excellent, you know, action fight. Both guys have power. David Lemieux has thirty one knockouts. He has an eighty percent KO ratio. Uh, Golovkin has 30 knockouts with a 91% KO ratio. ratio. Both of these guys are kind of mirror, mirror images of each other physically. Uh, David Lemieux is like 5'9". Uh, Golovkin is 5'10". Both of these guys got a 70-inch reach. So they're physically, they're, they're like twins, kind of like very compact, very strong fighters. This fight will come down to... Who can push the other one back and make the other one fight, fight off the back foot? We have not seen Golovkin fight off the back foot very much. Curtis Stevenson, a little bit, you know, in little spurts, had him going backwards. And he looked a little uncomfortable. But we have not seen anybody to push him back on a regular basis. Like take command, take control, and push him back. David Lemieux... Has a nice array of punches. He can, he goes to the body very well. Both of these guys go to the body, body very, very well with hooks. This will come down. I think this will just come down to Golovkin just being a better fighter overall. Golovkin, in my opinion, can box better. He's a better technical boxer than David Lemieux. Not taking anything away from David Lemieux. David Lemieux is a pretty good fighter in his own right. But uh, Golovkin has a, 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 has a really good Olympic pedigree, amateur pedi pedigree. Um, so I think that will play a part in this fight. Uh, this is a unified, uh, title fight. You know, David Lemieux is the IBF champion. Uh, Golovkin is the WBA champion. You know, Cotto is a WBC ring, uh, magazine champion. Cotto beat, uh, you know, Martinez, but everybody recognized Golovkin as being, you know, the man at middleweight, even though. Cotto is the lineal champion because he's the man that beat the man. You know, he beat Martinez, which Martinez was the man at the time. And I just think this will be an excellent fight. It's on pay-per-view. Um, I don't know how much it costs. Uh, I, I, know it, I know it may not be over $50. So, it, you know, it'll be worth your, entertain, your entertainment dollars if you pay for this pay-per-view. I, I, I don't agree with a lot of fights being on pay-per-view, but this is one of my standards, what I said about pay-per-view. If it's a title fight and both guys have belts and you're unifying titles, I'm down with that. And if it's a, a fight that fighters are coming from different weight classes and they, you know, like say, for instance, uh, a guy coming from 140, the best at 140, want to fight the, the guy best at 147 and he goes to that division and fight the guy at 147. That to me is pay per view worthy, but um yeah it's, it's pay per view worthy. I know a lot of people say it's not pay per view worthy, but it's pay pay per view worthy within a reasonable amount of dollars. If it's not you know ridiculously high, but I just pick uh, Golovkin to win. Their knockout percentages say that this is not going the distance. I see this fight going. I'm gonna say eight rounds, eight rounds or less. If it goes 12, that means that David Lemieux was able to push Golovkin back and was able to make Golovkin fight off the back foot, which makes Golovkin power, reduces his power somewhat, and that uh, David Lemieux is a little bit better than what I thought he was. But um, I know that the middle of the division is kind of heating up. You know, you got Andy Lee, he's a WBO champion. Daniel G uh, J Jacobs and Peter Quillen are about to fight. So that would be a good fight. It's kind of like an elimination type tournament going on with the middleweight division without saying it. Uh, we'll see if these guys mix it up because you know about the different networks and all that mumbo jumbo that I don't care about. I just want to see the guys fight. Don't make no excuses. Just get in the ring and fight. I mean, there's plenty of money out there to go around. You know, y'all can all make good money. Let's just fight and fight for legacy and fight for titles, fight for rec recognition. Y'all let me know who y'all got winning this fight between David Lemieux um, and Triple G. This is Boston Talk 8576. I'm out.